sometimes you slip too much into just being a journalist. Joel says, I've enjoyed the coverage of TalkSport and now prefer it to TMS coverage. Oh, thank you. Uh, will TalkSport or an alternative ever get England home test matches or is the BBC ECB relationship too close? So I don't know if you saw, but there was a bit of a brouhaha. I've, I've tweeted about this, Joel. And thank you. I'm, I'm really glad you like it. I was, you know, involved from the start. And you know, in fact, it was in this office that me and John had our first meetings of how TalkSport should be different to TMS. And this wasn't slandering TMS, but we wanted to make a different kind of product because you didn't want to just be TMS, but not on the BBC. It wouldn't have fit, right? We wanted it and we wanted to build it as a commentary service that we wanted to listen to. Um, and, you know, we've been really lucky with some of the people we've got involved. And I still think there's things we can fix and improve and um, and everything else. But And, and also, if you're global and you, you can't listen to TalkSport, we now do live streams on YouTube for some series. Um, so you can... Uh, I follow cricket commentary there. So many Americans were following for the England West Indies series. It was great. Um, look, there was basically the ECB made a massive error um, uh, last year and they gave the rights to the BBC again when realistically a much smarter business decision would have been finding a way for both companies to come in. Australia now has, what, three or four companies that do uh, broadcast radio. There, there aren't that many radio markets left in cricket. Uh, New Zealand, but they don't make much money in radio. Um, England, Australia, India, again, doesn't make as much money as it should. Although I think one day when digital radio becomes big, Indi the Indian market will be quite an important one. Um, South Africa, people do listen to radio over there, but cricket um, has been struggling. SABC, I don't think you're doing the India South Africa tests. Um, I was actually hoping that TalkSport might be able to get the rights to those and, and do that, but Cricket South Africa, um, I. I don't know the full behind the scenes thing, but it didn't happen. Um, I suppose is the best way of putting it in the end. Um, so yeah, so um, you really don't want, I, this is, I, I've always looked at it the same way. I think the way that broadcasting is done in cricket is incorrect because essentially you sell all your rights to one company and then everyone has to go to that company. But because that company has spent so much rights on it, they don't want clips on YouTube. They don't want, other broadcasters they don't want news stations to show more than whatever it is so the icc have it written into their contract and this is for indian companies i don't know if this is the case all altogether but they have something written into their contract if, if i'm not wrong that says that cricket tv shows or sports tv shows can't show highlights of cricket right so newscasts can and it's, it's something like i don't know between two and four minutes worth of footage but the others can't i'm like wait a minute I want every single show in India to be broadcasting that we have cricket and getting more people hooked on it so that they have to come back and watch us live. And the same with radio. There are two major sports radio stations in the UK. If they both played cricket at the same time for three, four months of the year, you own those radio waves. It's the best ad you could ever have. And it's not like the ECB is making billions off radio rights. They should be looking at it the other way and going, okay, we'll give you the rights, but you have to broadcast from inside the ground, perhaps. Or we'll give you the rights, but if you want access to a big box and a green room and all this sort of stuff, you have to pay extra or whatever it may be. You should want more people to broadcast your cricket. That, what, honestly, the way the ECB do it is so stupid, right? And I'm not afraid to say that. I've said it publicly before. I When, when they gave these rights to the BBC, I think I went on a Twitter rampage about this because the way we grow our game and the way that ECB specifically, but I could go through every single board. I just happen to know more about the business of the ECB in some cases. is so stupid. The Cricket Australia model is much smarter. I still think they do some things wrong, but the Cricket Australia model is much smarter overall. Cricket is spread out over a bunch of different networks, which means that they all have to promote cricket for you, right? It's probably in the wrong way and it obviously should have gone to channel 10 and there should have been a, a separate deal in a, in another way for other games etc cetera, etc cetera. but you're you're listening to radio in australia during a, a test match day if it's a talk back station it's like a 30 percent chance it's going to be cricket on it right absolutely brilliant right you can't get away from it at that point and so i do think there's a huge problem there i don't know why the bbc and the ecb did a, an agreement together um when TalkSport were dead keen for the rights um, this time. I don't know why the ECB went so early. Um, 
it just to me it's a massive error and i i it's one of those errors that this is why the hundred exists because cricket is still being pushed to the same people over and over again and it's not finding new demographics talk sport is a new demographic and the fact that talks and, and, and i think the ecb had coverage on the fact that talk sport have won two awards for their cricket coverage so far you know major radio awards um and they had they had cover there to go well actually talk sports doing a great job we want to encourage them to keep doing this um but talk sport do have a lot of rights coming up i think it's majorly overseas stuff uh, for me financially it would probably be a lot better if talk sport did the home tests although having said that you know there are probably years when i do so much with talk sport that maybe not doing the home test would be better for my life rather than my, my finances so it's a it's a bit up and down um so i do have a vested vested interest in that but i don't just want talk sport and bbc to do it i want lbc to get the rights i want some random radio station that i don't even know of that's an independent radio station that people listen to to do it i want like four or five stations to be able to do it because i want cricket to be bigger um in the place where i'm making the majority of my money but also to be bigger everywhere i want every country to be doing this right to be finding a way to do this on top of that you know looking at things like there have been some boards who have literally almost paid companies to do their radio broadcasting and then taken the stream and put up on the youtube and boosted their youtube numbers right there's so many different things you can do with with radio commentary we can't always be watching cricket right it is a physical impossibility for so many people right let's make it as accessible as possible and this is a way of doing it through what is the far lesser rights. I don't know what the difference between TV and radio rights are, but I don't think radio rights are even 1% of cricket's overall marketplace, right? Compared to TV rights and streaming rights. Use that then to actually build up an audience. And the other thing is that cricket is such a brilliant sport for radio, right? Like not all sports are. Tennis is terrible. I hate tennis on radio. Golf, oh my God, why do they put golf on the radio, right? Cricket is a brilliant sport on radio, like most of the football codes are, but it goes for longer. There's so many advantages for having it and for getting it out there. And I, and I do think that they have made a massive error, and not just them, but so many sports boards, the way that they handle cricket and radio. And, and as I said, I do have a vested interest in this. I, you know, I've worked for ABC, uh, I worked for a test match sofa back in the day. I worked for TalkSport. I worked for BBC as well. That's every radio. Um, I might have been on SABC once, but probably just for interviews. I can't remember. But I have a vested interest in this because I love cricket on the radio and it makes my job easier. The more cricket there's on the radio, I listen to a lot of BBL on the radio. Um, uh, that's, you know, because it is available to me. And at that time of the day, it's easier for me to listen to it. And then when I get a chance I can get the iPad out and, and watch it all you know watch it on my screen so wh whatever that is the situation whatever that situation is um so yeah I, I do think there is um a way forward uh here right across the the, the sport um but most importantly Joel I'm glad that you like talk sport because I'm on it